Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanind and this is part 7 of Azure Data Factory tutorial series. In this video, we are going to discuss about the triggers in Azure Data Factory. Now before watching this video, if you haven't watched my previous video, then I would highly recommend to watch those videos. In previous videos, we have discussed about what are the key components of Azure Data Factory. We created our own Azure Data Factory and we discussed about using copy activity to perform data movement and data transformations within Azure Data Factory. So let's get started with triggers in Azure so Data Factory. what is actually the trigger in Azure Data Factory? Triggers are basically another way through which you can execute a pipeline run and you can also automate the pipeline runs. Now trigger can represent a unit of processing that determine when a pipeline execution need to be kicked off. So based on name, you can easily identify it's kind of a trigger that will happen. And based on trigger, whatever pipeline that we have created, that will be triggered to execute. Now, for now in Azure Data Factory, there are these four types of triggers. One is schedule trigger, tumbling window trigger. Then uh, when it comes to event-based trigger, there are two types of trigger. One is storage event triggers, and another one is custom event triggers. Now in this video, we are going to talk about schedule trigger and we will talk about event-based triggers. For tumbling window trigger, it needs some more uh, information and detailed explanation. So we will talk about this into our next video. So for now, let's get started with schedule trigger. All right, so schedule triggers in Azure Data Factory are the first and the simplest form of triggers available. These kind of triggers that invokes a pipeline on a wall clock schedule. So what does it mean is, let's understand. So this is a sample pipeline that we created in our previous video and uh, during you know development while to, to do some testing I use the debug mode to execute the pipeline however let's assume your pipeline is successfully completed and you want to schedule it to run on the daily basis so in order to achieve that automation we can create some triggers attach those triggers with this pipeline so that those triggers will invoke this pipeline on the daily basis now, how can we uh, you know, create triggers is there are two options. One, we can click on this uh, you know, add trigger, click on new, and then we can click new here and we will be able to fill in this information. Alternatively, uh, let me close this. We can go on to this manage tab. Under manage, if you click on triggers, hit new, and you will be you know, able to see the same options here. And from here, you can also create a trigger. So let's continue with this option itself. Uh, here you can provide any meaningful name. I'll continue with the trigger one and then you can select a type. So right now we are discussing about the schedule trigger. So I'll select that. Then you can select a time. This time represents from when your trigger is going to be effective. So I'll just keep the same time for now. Then with schedule trigger, you get an option to select the time zone. So let's say you, you want to select this time zone as per the IST or uh, whatever time zone you want to select, you can do that. And then you can define the recurrence, like how frequently this particular trigger should trigger, right? So for now, for example, let's say I want to do it on a daily basis and once in a day. So I'll just select one and days. So it will trigger every day at this particular time. Or let's say we want to schedule it only on the weekdays. So I can select weeks and I can maybe select Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. Now uh, occurrence is one. That means it will execute only once. Then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, let's explore some more options. Alternatively, we can specify a end time. So let's say you want this trigger or you want this pipeline to execute on every weekday for next two months then you can definitely select this one and specify uh, end time. For now, I'll leave it blank and start the trigger. Start The moment I create this trigger, it will start. So I can check this option and hit OK. Now, the moment I have done that, make sure you are getting this publish option. So uh, whenever I will do that, uh, so let's say we have got some error. Let's see what trigger one cannot be activated and contain no pipelines. OK, so I cannot activate it right now because there is no uh, pipeline associated with this I'll just hit OK and say close for now and then let's say publish let's wait for a few more seconds while it is publishing okay so trigger is successfully published now so what we can do is if I go back to this pipeline and I'll explain what was the error Right now, the trigger that we created, it, it cannot start because we did not attach any pipeline through it. 
so what i can do is i can click on this add trigger and say new or edit from this drop down we will be able to see that particular trigger that we that created i'll just select that and i can now select the status as started and hit ok now the moment i'll say ok it will say make sure to publish the trigger to be activated after clicking ok so i'll just hit ok and i'll publish it again now once i have published the changes that particular trigger is now associated with this pipeline and based on whatever time and frequency we have associated this pipeline will be automatically executed as per that time so uh, if i talk about some more details pipelines and triggers have many to many relationship what does it mean is whatever trigger that i have created i can create few more pipelines and i will be able to you know you know attach the same trigger with multiple pipelines similarly multiple triggers can kick off the single pipeline so maybe i can create another trigger and attach this existing pipeline so one pipeline can have you know multiple triggers associated or a single trigger can kick off multiple pipelines it's just opposite to that that can happen because of this many to many relationship now this option comes with schedule based trigger only that we can specify a time zone that will be used to trigger the pipeline all right so that's all about uh, uh, schedule based trigger now let's talk about event based triggers in azure data factory when it comes to event based triggers in azure data factory there are two different types of event based trigger one is storage events and another one is custom events and by name you can think of uh, these triggers are getting executed in response of some events on the azure data factory or any other azure services through which we can connect so if i just directly go on to the creating a trigger i'll say okay, let me close oops again i'll just say new and edit i'll say new and this time so let's keep the default information again available now instead of schedule i'll select the storage events now you would notice all of the options below that are changed down from here it is asking us to select the storage account because we have selected the storage events so let's select based on whatever details we have got based on the subscription it has already identified what is the storage account that i have here i can specify the container name uh, the container that we created is test data and now how does it work is we can specify the path of a particular blob or uh, it, it could be like a partial path so that uh, let's say we have given a path of a folder and what we want is whenever a blob is created let's say whenever an event or a, uh, let's say we are expecting a csv file to be loaded on a particular folder on daily basis now what we can do is we can specify the path here the path begin with and path in, in with details now whenever a particular file or blob will be created in this particular location this trigger will uh, you know trigger alternatively whenever a particular file or blob is deleted from the provided path this particular trigger will invoke the pipeline so this is this is how it is working it is simply we are going to connect a storage account we are going to specify the path and then we go we are going to specify whether we want to you know invoke this trigger based on a blob created event or whether on the blob deleted event and whatever option we are selecting based on that this particular trigger will invoke the pipeline all right now let's talk about custom events triggers within azure data factory now this custom event triggers as you can say we are going to customize some triggers as per our need and in order to achieve this custom trigger we need one more service within azure which is nothing but the event grid now let's talk about uh, some short details of what is event grid Event Grid is a highly scalable message distribution service that offers flexible message consumption pattern using MQTT and HTTP protocols. I will mention this uh, you know, link in the description and you can go through this particular Event Grid in details. In short, what I can tell you is, let's assume we have an IoT service or we have an IoT device and we have enabled this Event Grid and set up the subscription over there. Now on event, on any event, whenever that iot device is sending some data which is being loaded in a particular table or some other storage account and whenever that thing is happening this event grid will trigger some messages now based on whatever message it is sending what we can do is if we if i go back onto the azure data factory 
here you can see once we will be able to select that event grid uh, based on subscription you can select the event grid service i haven't uh, created one now based on that whatever message that we are setting based on message subject or subject begin with or subject end with we can specify that whenever that message will be received within event grid this particular trigger will invoke the pipeline through which we have connected this so maybe i'll repeat event grid is basically a highly scalable messaging distribution app and we can connect it with a number of services within azure and based on any event this event grid will send some messages and based on message subject line that we will preset while creating those messages we can invoke a particular pipeline by mentioning those message subjects here i hope it is clear now talking about a few more details of uh, this particular you know event based triggers is pipelines and triggers have many to many relationships similar to what we discussed earlier and same multiple triggers can kick off a single pipeline or a single trigger can kick off multiple pipelines however in either the case in this kind of triggers we are not getting any option to select a time zone that that that's the main difference and also schedule based trigger is a simply base execute a pipeline on a particular time based on whatever time zone we have selected however event based triggers are going to trigger and invoke the pipeline based on whatever event that we have opted for all right guys that's it about the triggers in azure data factory in our next video we are going to discuss about the tumbling window triggers in details i hope you like the content if yes please go ahead and hit the like button and do subscribe to my youtube channel to stay up to date on any latest video that i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day